Hello, I'm Margarita Noyes, and this is Homeschool Questions and Answers. Uh, today's question is about math. Um, let's see, math in the early years. Math is something that is taught very badly in America. A high percentage of adults believe that they can't do math at all and it's almost completely because of the way it's handled in uh, childhood. Math is very much keyed to brain development, which means that a child cannot conceive of math concepts until their brain develops to a certain uh, place. And that place varies from person to person. So if you start um, requiring math understanding too young, the child is incapable of it. And the only thing the child will learn is that he is bad at math. He won't learn the math. He will learn that he can't learn it. So what you want to do with your children is build number sense from the early days when the child is capable of learning it. Um, you want to let the gradually developing child be the guide. You don't push the child beyond what he can naturally do. So for babies, the first thing, I'm talking toddlers, uh, children who will sit on the floor and grab things and play with them. The first thing you want to do is teach counting and one-to-one -one correspondence. So what that means is if there are three objects, maybe three blocks or three toys in front of the child, you want to teach the child to count them. So they have to say one, two, three, and touch them so that they understand that this one makes one, this one makes two, this one makes three. That's called one-to-one -one correspondence. If the child doesn't have one-to-one -one correspondence, there might be three objects there and the child might be able to say one, two, three, but he wouldn't be able to um, understand that this one is one, this one is two, and this one is three. He wouldn't be able to count. So you want to begin with one, two, three objects and teach the child to count. And then add one more, one more, five, six. The names of the numbers, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. These are learned by memory. That's part of language. But the ability to count is a different skill. So you want to begin with counting. After you been, begin with counting, you might want to try adding and subtracting, but just as a game. So the child has Maybe the child can count to 10 objects, no problem. So then you say, well, you have 10 objects. How many if I take three away? And then the child counts again, seven. And then you say, well, what if I give you two back? And then the count, child counts again, nine. And eventually the child will get so good at it that he won't even have to count. He'll know that if he has three and you give him four more, it'll be seven. He knows that if he has seven and you take away five, he'll have two. Now, this is a game. Don't push your child and make him upset. Don't feel that it is a matter of your ego or your pride. My child can add, subtract, add and subtract and he's only two. Don't let your ego get into it. Just play games with your children and always 
adding a little more as the child grows. What you're trying to do is help your child have a challenging input as he's growing so that when he's ready for the next concept, it's right there. And as you do that with your baby, you're building number sense. Now this is math with babies. I'm going to do another video for math in the preschool years and in the elementary years. So, see you later.